and welcome to this MaxView video. Now I'm Neil from Team QSW and we are currently sponsored by the guys at MaxView. So I've come along uh, to Kings Lynn to the factory to see exactly what these guys do and I thought I'd take the opportunity to meet up with some of the guys and show you some of the products that they uh, do. So Phil, uh, hi there, I've come along to your hi neck of the woods uh, yeah. and uh, I want to have a look at some of these great products that you've got. You've been showing me them and I thought I've got to get them on video so these guys can see. Well while we're outside we can take advantage of that because obviously you need to be outside to use these okay. products. The first one I wanted to show you is the precision which we've got down here. Yep. This is a, a very simple tripod kit which we developed last year uh, and launched last year and we're really pleased with the, with the reception we've had to this. Um, and what we'll do, rather than talk about it, is we'll take it out of the bags and show you what it Let's is. Let's have a play. Okay. So, so, so basically with satellite, uh, uh, this allows you to get a TV signal, what, anywhere? It's Depending on the size of the dish and the type of receiver, but yeah. certainly in the UK you'll get everything with any of the products. Uh, and, and still lots of English speaking channels further afield. Um, but probably a little bit more restricted as you get into Spain and Portugal and places like that. And what's the benefit of satellite over like a, an aerial, you know, the old style aerial? Perfect digital signal all the time. Okay. Uh, there are no sort of black areas where you can't get a signal. Right. And as we say, you can go into Europe and you can still be catching news channels, film channels and that okay. sort of thing. Fine. Okay. Superb. Okay. Let's have a look. So we put the precision into two bags. We, yep. The reason we did that is the old system that we used was in one bag which made it a little bit bulky and sometimes it wouldn't go under the seat and okay. that sort of thing. So we decided to put it into two bags. Yep. This one holds a tripod and it's a very light but very sturdy tripod. If you hold that you'll see how light that is. That doesn't weigh anything does it? That Not is really, really no. light. And on here we've also put a spirit level yep. so that you can get that fairly level to start with. Okay. And secondly one of the legs is marked with what we call the south leg. Yep. And the reason we do that is because if you point that leg south using yep. the very simple compass that comes with the kit, and we made it simple so that anybody oh can understand how it <laughs> works. That. that is so easy. <laughs> north and south. Okay. As simple as that. Yep. As we know, the red arrow will always point north, so that can tell us that the white arrow obviously is pointing south. Oh my and that god. Quite simply is where we point the south so leg. We turn that leg to go in that direction, yeah. That's is that correct. right? Yeah, okay. That's right. Yeah. And then that's as much as we need the compass for. The main part of the kit is in the second bag of course. If we unzip that. This is the 55 centimetre version. Okay, what they do bigger ones or smaller ones? We, do a, we do a 65 as well. Okay, and, what, yes. what, and what's the benefit of 65 over a 55? The 65 will get you the normal terrestrial UK channels a little bit further south into, into Europe. Ah, uh, okay. This is really just for the UK. Right, okay. Although northern France is a possibility. Right. We pop that straight onto the tripod. Yep. And straight away, this will only move in the area where the satellites are. So from there to there, and then it stops. So okay. It's as simple as that. Wow. You can't get it wrong, can you? Well, that's that's the first part of it because with any satellite system, you have to point the dish directly at the satellite. Yeah. That's elevation wise. Because the satellites are up in the sky, yeah. Of course. Get, I, I don't know a lot about this, so okay. Well, they certainly are, yeah. So we're only looking for one particular satellite. Yeah. And um, with this system, as I say, it's, it's much easier to find it. Right. So we know it's from there to there somewhere. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We've got to get the elevation of the dish correct as well. Okay. And we've marked on the back of it here what angle you need to set this dish at okay. to get the signal. So we are about there. So that's what, tw tw 20, 20, tw between 26 and 23 degrees, is that that's right? right? Yeah, so 24, 25 degrees. Okay. And we mark that on both sides of the um, system here. Okay, so we're there. Okay, yeah, 25. So we're just the... Oh, you just screw here. that in. That and you can see that. Way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as you say... Now, I've never seen one of these with a screw there fitting. Is, you normally have to just be bending it. Exactly, yes. There are, there are a couple of other systems about, including our older system, but this is the only one that's really been designed properly for the job. Okay. And the joy of that, of course, is once you've set that angle, if you take that away and pack it away again, next time you come to use it, you've still got the correct angle. Of course you have. Yeah. Unless you've moved a long way north or south, but even then it will only be a small adjustment. Yep. So we've got that set at 24, 25, and we know it's fairly level. So now we know the signal's somewhere between there and there. Yep. On the front, we have a magnet which holds the system in place. Yep. Like so. And also, we looked at the cable of these things. Right. Uh, normally the cable is quite um, unflexible, if you like, and people were tripping over cables and that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. So the cable on the precision we've had designed to be particularly flexible. And as you can see, when it lays on the ground, 
it just lays flat. It has no memory, so it won't stay so that you can trip over it. Because the old cable used to what used to trip over. It used to it stay used in to... a curl. Oh it, right, okay. It's curled up in packaging. Yeah, it stays in the curl like right. a spring. Yep. Okay, so what so we we'll do, do that is we connect that onto there. Obviously, the other end is connected to your satellite receiver or um, TV with with satellite built in. Yeah. And once we've done that, we'll see that the green light on the built-in satellite finder is on. Oh yeah. That's taking its power from the from the receiver, and if we turn that up as far as we can, we'll get all the lights lit. Okay. That's a common fault that people do. You don't want to do that. You want to set it as low as you can. Like so. Yeah. And then somewhere between the stop here, that's where the signal is. So somewhere between there and there. And that is it. So once Soon you've turned that and it's found it, that's you've found it. your satellite. You then turn it up here so it can't move. You can try fine tuning it, but we seem to be pretty good there. Every then, light's on, so. And then turn that off because it annoys the neighbours. And that is it. And as you've set your that. satellite up. Yes, straightforward. Phil, that is as easy it's as an easy idea, of can course, be. To peg it down as well. Yep. Because it tends to be a windy So let's go sometimes. inside and see if our TV's going. I'm going to test you out with it. So okay. Switch the TV on. On here. Uh, we've wired this up. And hopefully, if we do. There we go. And there's the TV. God, it works. Uh, okay, well, that's uh, the uh, precision system from Maxview, and I've got to say, that's as easy as it gets. So, uh, if you're new to satellites, that's a perfect one for you. So, I hope you enjoyed that video, and uh, yeah, fully endorsed by me. Really good.